Yes, come on. Totem poles. These things are fire based. Here goes. Why are fire based enemies why are fire based enemies doing an ex attacker? Honestly. Right, Lunar Winds, come on, Finna. There we go. And they're all dead. That was easy. What way to go? Ah, treasure chest. Stone cutter. That sounds awesome. And it is. Because I can't remember what it was. Ah, here it is. It's an extra. It's another cutlass for Vise. Um. Oh, I heard the GD ROM screech there. You didn't get us that time, though, did you? <gasps> it's the ghost. I think Vice found it that saw it that time. Right. This is like the last area. Uh, I'm fairly sure there's a treasure chest there. I think this just takes you to the end again. Let's just check, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. It just takes you back to the start. So I'm going to get back on it. Because this is a waste of time right now. Alright. Let me back on. Come on. Hurry up. Jesus, come on! Right, let's get that treasure chest. Right. Now, if you'll remember... Oh, Sacraline Crystals! That's the final... Green magic, uh, magic move. Restores hit, restores HP to full. Awesome. Now, if you'll remember, back in the Temple of Pyron, uh, we fought that. What was his name? The Explorer. Uh, I can't remember his name. But we fought him anyway, because he was exploring the Temple of Perun and found like a treasure. We have to fight him again here. Well, we don't have to fight him, but we're going to anyway. Because we want XP. Yes. Serves up right. If 
Finna's about to level up again. Right, now this is a pretty complicated uh, set up here, so to speak. There are several treasure chests all lying around and you just got to get off at the right time and stuff. But most of all you just got to make your way up to the top. And there's a cham nearby. And I believe that's the treasure chest where we're going to fight that guy. Oh god, I remember those enemies. Those These enemies bug me, the Paul Raxus. They just look like a monster version of those little tassels you get at the corners at cushions. I guess that's what they're meant to be, but they just look stupid to me. And I'm pretty sure later on they're recolored and like given a new monster name and all that, which is kind of lame. <laughs> that was easy. <sighs> Good. Yep, here we go. Fight with this guy, whose name I honestly cannot be bothered to remember. Right, so... We gotta keep using purple attacks on him because they're good against him. Nah, oh, fucking hell, Drachna. Fena! Oh, he's got counterattack. Why always Fena? Oh, here's the burst attack, which he didn't use in the last time we fought him. It does bugger out a drachma, but it's quite bad. It's quite uh, dangerous against other characters. We're just gonna spam him with attacks here. Oh, he guarded! What a prick. Over there. And he's gonna counterattack Finna, I just know it. See, he did! And he's gonna be kneeling down now. Yep. Right. Gonna have Finna do Lunar Light just to get them all, uh, just to get them all healed, even though I know he's gonna do burst here. I just know it. A dog won't stop barking. Right, do us proud, Drachma. Take him out. Uh, again with Finna? What are you going against Finna? There we go. We did it. Ah, level up. 
Slip Seed. What does that do again? Alright, the Golden Mask, we can just sell that. I think the Slip Seed puts your Quick up. Let's see. Yep, Quick by three. Who needs it more? Uh, Finna does, actually. We'll just give it to Finna. Yeah, Finna's going to be taking up most of the seeds, isn't she? We're not going to give it to Drachma, because he's not one of the main three, you know. He's just a crusty, rusty old man.